Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotional. When something unexpected happens in our lives, when we are in the midst of pain, the natural response of most is asking the big word, Why? Bakit ako nasa ganitong sitwasyon? Have you ever been in that situation? You ask, Lord, bakit ako? Why me? And this is a big question, especially us Christian, na minsan we wonder, why is that before when we are not yet a Christian, is hindi natin nararanasan to. Pero ngayon that we are in the Lord, punong -puno no ng pagsubok. And ang masakit na part, minsan we blame God na kapag hindi mo na naiintindihan ang nangyayari, ay aayaw ka na lang, aalis ka na lang. We want to leave the promise of Jesus in John 10.10. 10. It says, I, Jesus, have come that you may have life and you may have it more abundantly. And that is the life we want to live a blessed, abundant life. But we forgot something. Jesus also told us in John 16, 33b, In this world, you will have trouble. Another thing, all our favorite Bible characters had their share of trials and painful circumstances. Yung iba nga, they experienced struggles for how many years, decades, before they saw God's plan to be finally fulfilled. And one of the Bible character na pag-uusapan natin ngayon, who asked the word, why is Job? Let me share you some details about him. Si Job ay almost perfect na servant ni Lord, kaya nga pinagmamalaki talaga siya ng Diyos. Sabi ni Lord kay Satan in Job 1.8, Have you considered my servant Job? There is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil. Kaya pinagpapahala talaga siya ni Lord because of his faithfulness. His life is almost perfect too. But one day, God allows to test him at idaan siya sa pinakamahirap na sitwasyon. From almost perfect servant, naging perfectly picture of sin siya sa mata ng tao. Look, he is a faithful servant. Pero yung naranasan niya ay consequences ng isang taong makasalanan in the Old Testament. Namatayan siya ng mga anak na wala ng ari-arian. His wife and his friends condemn him at nagkaroon siya ng matinding sakit sa balat. Nang hindi na niya kinayang sakit, here comes the big question in Job 7.20. Job asked God, why have you made me your target? God, why me? Naging tapat naman akong lingkod sa'yo. Dumating ka na ba sa puntong iyon? Now, here are the two answers of God when we ask, Why me, Lord? That why does God allow suffering even if sinusunod mo naman ang mga utos niya? Number one po, God, why me? And God answered, because you are extraordinary. God puts you in that situation because He knows you can overcome it. God already knows the future of Job. He had already foreseen that Job will question Him. Pero ano pa rin sinabi ng Diyos? Pinagmalaki niya pa rin si Job. He called him righteous and faithful despite of ranting and questioning of Job. Dahil alam ng Diyos, bandang huli, Job will overcome his challenging situation. Sabi niya, you will never become an extraordinary or remarkable person if you only fight ordinary battles. And we, Christian, are made unique. Kung iniisip mo man na I'm just ordinary, eto lang ako eh. No, you are wrong. We Christians are born to stand out, to have outstanding victories. So when we look at the mirror and ang nakikita lang natin ay isang pusang maliit na takot, hear what the word says. God sees a lion in us. Minsan, dinadaan talaga tayo ni Lord sa isang bagay na may ouch factor dahil gustong ilabas ng Panginoon yung leyon na yan na nasa loob mo na nakikita niya. And that's your true identity. And because you are extraordinary, your victory should be remarkable too. And by having this victory, kailangan napaka-challenging talaga ng mga battles mo. Kaya huwag ka nang magtaka na every time na nagle-level up, Yung mga challenges mo sa buhay, nagle-level up din kasi yung pagka-unique and extraordinary mo. And next point po, why me, Lord? And God replied, because I am God 
and I'm in control. One of the best part of a battle is knowing that the shift commander knows it all. Like he studied everything, every sides, all the corners of the situation, he already foresee kung anong mangyayari. And eto pa, hawak na niya ang katagumpayan dahil alam niya lahat ng angulo, alam niya lahat ng techniques, and isa lang ang may kakayahan niyan, ang Diyos. God gave Satan permission to ruin Job's life except to kill him. God is there when Job was in the midst of hardships. And when the right time came, God finally spoke to Job and everything na nawala kay Job, pinalitan niya ito ng masigit pa. In Job 42 verse 10, The Lord restored the fortunes of Job and the Lord gave him twice as much as he had before. See, God allows his storms in Job's life not to pull him down but to pull him up, not to break and harm him, but to make him. We all encounter storms that will really rock our boat, and we seem to think that our boat will sink. But let me remind you again, friend, in the midst of it all, God is in control. There are too many answers or reasons why God allows painful scenarios in our lives, but we cannot comprehend or know everything, right? Because God is God, and we are not. But we can cling on to the two points every time we are in trouble because it speaks of who we truly are and who God is. Kapag alam mo na ito yung kakayahan mo, you have the confidence. You are ready to fight battles, even the extraordinary ones. And if you know that God is God who is in full control, and if God is for us, who can be against us then? Now, it's not wrong to ask God questions. It's not also wrong to experience grief, anger, or any other emotion when we are going through a hard time. Human emotions are natural. Kahit nga si Jesus ay nakaranas ng grief and got angry. It is just we aren't made to get stuck in a place with those unhealthy emotions. Kaya tara na! Let us transform our mindset and faith that in knowing our true identity of who we really are and knowing who God is, that instead of asking God, why me? We can boldly say now, God, let's do it. I am ready to face the battle because I am extraordinary and you are God who is in control. Let's pray po. Abba Father, we glorify your name. Thank you for your message for this morning, Panginoon. Tulungan niyo kami na maitinim to sa aming mga puso at may sa buhay namin ito. That in every time that we are in the midst of sufferings and trials, Panginoon, remind us of who we are and who you are in our lives, Panginoon. We believe, O oh God, that everything, Lord, malalampasan namin because you are with us, Panginoon. Lord, may you be glorified in our lives and in our families. And this we pray. Amen.